Hello, this is Travis Corcoran. Welcome to a video tour of my uh, workshop. Starting here, we've got a traditional cabinet maker's workbench. Uh, legs aren't finished. Over here, we've got a Powermatic table saw. Behind it, a chop box. Some storage on the walls. Lots of books. Sitting atop the two library card catalogs named Bush and Cheney because I paid for them with money that I won on a uh, futures contract betting site. I thought the chance of Bush and Cheney getting reelected was somewhat more than 5%, and I put my money where my mouth was. Sharpening center. The yellow thing you can see in the corner is the Powermatic uh, lathe. Weighs about 800 pounds, and uh, it is a beast. I like it though. Uh, here we have the uh, Laguna Tools bandsaw, bunch of uh, tool storage, and then we come to the first workbench with pegboard. And panning down, we see a bunch of tool storage underneath, and a little bit of a mess on top. Uh, usually a bit tidier than this. So back to the pegboard. Many things are traced in location because I like to have a spot for everything, and everything in its spot. Uh, Fordham power carving tool, panning down again, it's a Sureline lathe, uh, arbor press, some other tools tucked down below. About a hundred year old machinist's vise, uh, it's pretty close to a solid block of rust when it came into my possession, cleaned it all up, gave it a nice paint job. Uh, tool chests on top came from a handyman and SCA loon I know, uh, Ryan Grimm, when I bought his Atlas lathe and mill. The uh, Craftsman tool chest underneath was abandoned in place by a former tenant of mine, uh, Farrell Chimp, as you know him. Uh, a couple more Sears toolboxes. These were bought off of the uh, floor at Sears for negotiated discounts because they had a little bit of dings and dents, but uh, they have ball bearing uh, slides and they hold all my tools pretty nicely. Atlas lathe, uh, beneath it a old Chamblin lathe, which I'm in the process of rebuilding. And next to it, you can just see a little bit of white peeking out. That is uh, NZC's white jet lathe. Uh, here we have a floor standing drill press, a old uh, Rockwell. Um, I think Rockwell later became Delta. Underneath, a little more high narrative value. We've got a uh, chest that used to hold mail for teachers in West Milford, New Jersey. Uh, got that from my mom. Um, came down to her and cleaned it up, scrubbed it down. Behind the drill press, we have a horizontal milling machine, also Atlas. Uh, Smartflix.com has a video from Rudy Kulept on how to use that. I've watched a bit of it, and I intend to watch more. Over here we have some lockers. Uh, these were also bought off of eBay. I uh, had them shipped up truck freight. Uh, you may or may not be able to see it. They are on casters. Uh, I like to put a lot of my tools and storage on casters that's welded to frames that I make out of bed angle iron that I pick up on garbage day. And uh, we know that workbenches need dogs to hold work, but workshops also need dogs. Hey Ocho, hey Strider, are my pups. These two guys are Australian cattle dogs, rescue dogs, quite outstanding, and they make the shop. Strider is going to be turning 15 in another week, and Ocho is about 5. Uh, he is an old English gentleman, and she has no manners whatsoever, but she is great to have around. There will be more shop tour later.